What up, what up guys? Came over to Billionaire Mike Hall's house. We're currently playing some video games for our 1942. This is OG. Mike's crushing it. Mike's, Mike's crushing getting it. Mad. This is Mike, 12,000, and this is me over here at 66,000. Oh, son of a bitch. 78,000 to 12,000. Well, I shot, he shot down 92 people. I shot down 356. Top ranking. Top ranking. <laughs> so Boom. Yeah. I beat everybody who was ever here before. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. There we go. So, Billionaire Mike Hall's games room has a slot machine. He makes everybody come over and play it. That's, what I That's how he paid for the house. Yeah, exactly. And then we've got the... That is set to everyone loses. This is Mike's theater room. If you guys have, haven't seen some of my old Damon Fryer vlogs. By the way, he's got a whole bunch of the scenes from Fast and the Furious right here. Original Fast and the Furious. Yeah, the, the, fir the first one. Yeah. And there's Paul. The Eclipse is here and there's the RX-7. And the RX-7, the Eclipse. A bunch of the cars, Vin Diesel. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Come down here and watch movies. This actually makes popcorn. So even though the theaters are closed, they're not at Mike's house. Well, it's always open here. He charges everybody in the neighborhood to come over. And then more games room. His pool's broken. Mine works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's okay. Well, we'll be at your place all the time. You can come to my place anytime you want because I didn't buy a boat because I'm going to use yours. Yeah, I'm going to use your pool. <laughs> all right. Hey, you coming? Yeah. yeah. Brandon's coming for the ride. You should ride with me. Yeah, I, I got, we gotta pick up um, I got, Brent. I got another helmet. Yeah, he can go with you. For, I'm gonna throw you in the he's aperta. aperta. Alright. The windshield is car. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Scared the shit out of his wife. <laughs> You're such a dick. I didn't know like my voice could go that high. God damn. Mike uh, sells all the exotics, so we had to get him a Lossy 8. The Lossy 8. The Lossy 8 is in the fleet now. I do honestly miss this car. I think the money? it's the best bang for the buck. I, I agree. You can't beat this car. It drives so freaking good. It has good power. It has great braking. It has ridiculous handling. The roof comes off. Great storage. It sounds cool. How does the it's roof got storage. Off? Let's take that shit off here. Oh, you don't know how to take it off? I yeah. I've never done it. You gotta go topless. Yeah, let's do topless. It's really easy. It's just two clips. Does it go in the back or front? It goes in the front. Uh, no, it goes in the back. I lied. There's What's cool is you have this spot. Two trunks. Right here. It goes right in here. So you just have to eclipse in here. You just push it in. You'll just have to take this. What's this for? I don't know. Oh, that's the front plate. It's part of the car. It's part of the car, Mike. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Because there'd be no one up there. That's right. I just won't film it. That's the way I go. No. We're not allowed to track that? <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, shh, shh, shh. I, mean, I mean, we'll do the speed limit all the way up. That's right. <laughs> I was camping. What the hell? You took a whole mattress? Yeah. Your kid looks homeless. I know. I am I like the Dash, MSD, Hurst. Did it mask. come like that? No, I put all those on there. Man, look about. Yeah. Open the door and there's a little lock. Because, 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 because race car. Outside. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like a locker. It does look like a locker. All right, I got a helmet here for you. We're going to put um, Brandon in here so you he can experience. Don't you miss doing this? Hey. I do miss that actually. <laughs> you do, you do. I don't know why, but that's so freaking cool. <laughs> you always do that to us. That's so cool. Okay, I gotta throw all my stuff up front. I gotta throw all this up here. Alright. Brandon goes into the Aperta for the first time. We'll leave this here in case we get pulled over. That's my insurance policy. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Alright. <laughs> so good, like so 
so bright. Oh, it's so bright. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We'll go ripping today. We're going up a mountain. We're Where going there's up, gonna be snow. Up Big White, and there'll be snow up there. But it'll be yeah. cool. There won't be snow on the road, but it, no. there'll be snow on the sides of the road. We should maybe go in the front. Nobody wants to take a stone to the head or to the face or yeah, you guys can go in the to the chest, really. Good thing, Brandon. Let's do it. Pretty cool. Keep yeah. your eye, keep your windshield down. Oh my gosh, he thinks he's cool. Come on, Papa Smurf, let's go. Hundred and forty horse. <laughs> what kind of freaking road does your dad got us going down? What is this off roading? This is off roading, you guys. This is as DD as it gets. Look at this. Cool construction. We came in on a dirt road, and now we're going out on a dirt road. Oh, well, we got a couple of good bumps here. Good thing this car's got a lift. It only lifts it so much though, right? <laughs> yeah, a couple inches, that's it. Mad <laughs> Wolf! What's up, dude? Should we, we should do some bigger eights. Will you hold this? <laughs> he moves his car. I'm not getting out. What do you think? It's crazy. Already recording. Boom, shalom. to do that thanks to uh brent and those were just sitting there we didn't set that up anyhow i think slides around amazing to be honest the supercharger was way better uh to do stunts like that and play which is why i supercharged this car and i didn't twin turbo it i'm sure you could totally dial a twin turbo in to do that but you know obviously back when i got my car done um, I requested those things and it was a development thing and it just never happened. So it was fast and fun, but had a, had a lot more issues in the supercharger at the end of the day. And just bolting that supercharger on from VF was my go-to. It was so reliable for the, you know, two plus years that I had it on the previous tire slayer. And, uh, I love having it back. I mean, it sounds wicked. You get on it, you hear the wine. It's got that 200 instant horsepower. So, but we're here picking up, uh, Brent's car. Brent's car looks like it's done some donuts outside, but it was inside. <laughs> the spiker. The chrome spiker. It's chrome spiker. Why is it so dirty? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like, look at the windscreen. I know. <laughs> wow. You need to dust this bitch off, or you can there just you dust it off at 200 down the, high, down the highway. Should we take the car or do you want to take this? Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Spiker. I've driven this thing. It's crazy. What have you been up to last couple of days? Would you let Brent take merch, you merch, in? merch, 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 merch. Sounds like you remember. Would you let Brent take you in this? This place is small, hey? Uh -huh. This is Brent's place. Look at this. Tempest Aviation Helicopter Central. Wouldn't it be sick to clear some of this out and, and drift in here? It wouldn't, like, it wouldn't be because remember, this is slippery. Yeah. This, this won't have a lot of grip. And look how close, you think about it, look how close these posts are. They start to shrink when you're driving through here at about 60. Yeah. Hey? Huh? Wow, this thing is nuts. So how much is a helicopter like this? Seven, a couple million bucks. Se seven million? They're, yeah, new, yeah, you're probably seven, eight. The replacement for those over there are about 12 million each. The, the helicopter? Those two BKs, yeah. Those I are full metal. Wow. <laughs> 12 million for a helicopter. Look at these things. Hey, do you remember that? 
That's crazy. So this is uh, one of Brent's businesses, and what they do at Tempest Aviation is they restore and supply uh, helicopter parts to people all over the world. So this is a really big warehouse, and it goes past that wall. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's cool, hey? Helicopters? It's totally cool. 12 million bucks for one of these. It's insane. It's we a need one. whole new level. Hey? Expensive. Helicopters are expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make cars seem cheap. <laughs> yeah, they make cars seem cheap. Well, it's like, you know, when you see these guys, these princes and royal families and billionaires that have these super yachts that are 250 million. That's like, when your boat's 250 million, a million dollar car is nothing. The door's over there, you tour this way, and I'm like, okay. That's actually a really cool paint job. You know, that's really on trend right now with supercars. The fade paint job. Look. Brent's a trendsetter. Matches my uh, H1 and the new TRX. Has that. Same fade? Uh, yeah, silver into black. I need a uh, Red Bull or something. Got a bit of dirt. Got a bit of dirt in my eyes doing those donuts in your parking lot. Do they have one? Sugar free? Yeah. I'm in for sugar free. Oh, shite. They do have one. What's on this side, Brent? I see boats. Thank you. Thank you. Check this place out. This place is huge. They're talking about doing. My God. What? <laughs> Little door, and then all of a sudden, a whole new world. Holy shit. Is this boat storage, or are these all yours? I'm just joking, they're not all these. They're all Brent's. I was gonna say. One's Monday, one's Tuesday. Brent's like, you know what? I wanted to go and hang out with my friends, but none of them had boats, so I bought them boats. <laughs> Dude, you got all the toys in here, too. Oh, yeah. Are these, your, these are your sleds, aren't they? Yeah. The Tempest sled's sick, dude. Look at this. Look at, that. Look at the wrap on this sled. Now check it out. When you get close, it's got sparkle in it. <laughs> I think that's cool. That'd be a cool wrap on a car. It's rad. It's got wheels. <laughs> it's got a few toys, hey? Just a couple? Look at this. Cool. That's crazy. Yeah, your boat comes Monday. How, how much bigger is your boat than, like, let's say this one? Well, lengthwise, it's a little bit. What is this? 40, 30, that's a 37. So mine's 40, but mine's width. Cause you got girth. Got more girth. <laughs> more girth. Oh, is this your new camper? Really make them yeah. feel it. Check it out. Uh, this is yours too? Yeah. Jesus. This is what happens oh, when you have this level of toys. You just need a warehouse? To house them all. Yeah. Holy shit. The Sandpiper. Holy shit, I see black lights. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? the fuck is Dude, Anthony, come look in this bitch. <laughs> this is crazy. Holy shit. Dude, the TV fucking coming out of the fucking... No! Yeah, awesome. yeah. Are these reclinable? Oh, these yeah. are all fucking reclinables. Like a theater room. Pop, pop yeah. it up. Oh my gosh. That looks crazy. This is how you camp? camp? Yep. He's camping, eh? Rich people <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool setup, eh? Yeah, so we'll set this so up you're up never here. bored. No. Because <laughs> no, if you, are. If no. you are, I'm going to smack the shit out of you. I'm going to give you a my call special like that day. A double, double it up. Holy shit. I've, I've never been in a trailer like this. Funny. What do you call it? A trailer? A house? It's, uh, yeah, it's a park model. That's a big it. fridge for a camper. I like the yeah. bedroom. Ice hey? Full the bedroom is like... Hey, washer and dryer in there. It's Look at this. Dave. Dude. Hey? The bedroom is like... For Dave's... What the fuck is this little fucking... I'm gonna cut it and put it on my wall. Get it wrapped and... Uh, Dude. It Dude. I can. Can we drag this out? I want to. I need to make a YouTube video with this. So technically, I have two gambles. <laughs> so, okay, so, so we're gonna put that. How's that for a barn find? <laughs> Brent's barn find Ferrari is now barn find Lambo. Yeah, Diablo. Where did you get the body for that? That is I crazy. All the glass, everything boarded is here. It's all, it's all Lamborghini. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Clean it up and get it. That's crazy. Wrapped. 
cars? Yeah, it's backwards. Because oh, yeah. the steering wheel is technically right here. Yeah, that's hilarious. Turn it into a ball pit. Now, moment of truth, will it start? Go girl, for sure. <laughs> So good. The V8 in this thing. That thing sounds cool with the pops. Yeah, it sounds good. Listen to that. Look at the exhaust. Like this car looks so good. It's crazy. It's so cool. It's really wide. It's tired. It's such a weird looking, unique car. It's going to be crazy having this up at Big White. Yeah. And that. For the snow in the background? That day I drove this all the way back was cool. That, did you get scared Down the, the sea to sky. The brakes? I got used to it. I just eased oh. into it. And then once I felt comfortable, Tash and I were ripping it on the sea to sky that day. Right. Coming back from Whistler. My first time driving it. And I was going pretty fast. And the guy stopped in front of me. And I went to get the brakes. It well, didn't stop? It didn't stop. Because the brakes pivot from the floor instead of from the top. <laughs> yeah, the so brakes. get a full pressure on it. The brakes in this are like the CGT. Yeah. Oh, it's floor. Yeah. Look yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think there's a car in the world that has a shifter like that. No. Nope. No. That is the coolest shifter. It's yeah, pretty it's badass. The Pagani one had some of the best interior of any car or some bullshit like this. Yeah. So wild. It's got the louvered fenders stock. Such a unique, like, so old school looking, the logo. The fact that it's got like an actual plane prop on it. Yeah. What the fuck. You want to make your Corvette disappear parking next to these two fucking cars? Okay? What Corvette? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that thing's cool, hey, the spiker? Yeah, it's so nice. Bad whips. <laughs> Look at those wing uprights. Oh, yeah. It looks so good. How much shorter was it before? Like two inches shorter. So it really, really made a difference. Yeah, it, it actually makes the wing look wider, but it's an optical illusion because now it's just higher up at the narrower part of the roof, yeah. but it looks so good. Yeah. yeah, that spiker is freaking wild, man. <laughs> Dude, came pretty clean with the old... Uh... <laughs> Brent just used the squeegee. Use the squeegee to clean it. You use it, a squeegee on a chrome wrap. The balls on this. The balls on this guy. Hey, what, what do you got? Show you, show you some, some goods. Some of the stuff you're working on. Straight overnight from Japan. What's this? Oh no, dude, that is sick. <laughs> JDM Space right. merch, you guys. You've seen it here first on the Stories Channel. We will be dropping this in a very limited quantity. Oh, that's so sick. That is so sick. Do you guys approve? I do approve. Hold on, stand there. Hold the shirt up too for a sec. And the hats. I'm gonna get, I'm, this is gonna be part of the thumbnail right here. Anthony T's new merch drop. Perfect. Well, needless to say, Brandon and I turned the heat on about halfway up. Man, it, it got cold up here. And it's just, it's all the, the wind from moving. But look how much snow's still here. <laughs> we got the Aperta with the snow. That was a fun drive though, eh? It was a fun drive. A couple of those corners were a little scary. Park it right here in front of your place. Wow, what a drive. I wonder how peppered the front end was from the little rocks. Look how dirty it is up here still. How'd the wrap hold up? Oh, I'm surprised. It's actually good. There's a lot of dirt on the road. Dude, I had to pass all you guys because we were getting peppered. 
Yeah, I was scared. I was just waiting for that one big rock to come up and just. I took a couple to the bottom of the neck. It's all good. Yours is rat, mine's not. Yeah, yours is only a vet though. Oh. Look at the line up of the cars. Up with, like, look at it from here, and all you see is snow. It's crazy, there's so much snow still up here. What a ride. Oh. Got some dirt, a couple of rocks peppered to the bottom of the neck, hey? <laughs> I had to pass all you guys because I was taking rocks to the bottom of the neck. <laughs> Like the whole time, it was just oh, like, ting, 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 ting. That's why I passed you. Did you see? We fucking jumped you guys. <laughs> yeah, we jumped. You see that? We, <laughs> yeah. we we hit that oh. bump, and we hit the thing, and the car went, rrr. The back wheel spun. Me. We jumped all four tires off the ground, passing him. Really? Yeah. 170. Yeah. Jesus. Like, they were really in there. For that, eh? 170. Oh, the CGT would not like that. I would not have done that. The road is too. Jesus. It needs the shocks fixed, if you guys don't know what we're talking about. The CGT has like a blown... Uh, shock or maybe two. So it kind of when it hits bumps does this. It's very sketchy. It's very roller coastery. Very roller coastery. <laughs> Brandon was rocks. just yeah. Brandon was just pointing out. Look at all the rocks that shot in that are on his seat. <laughs> Mad whips. Booyah! Booyah! I can turn your eyes just a little to the left slightly. Yeah, right there. I can see the car in your sunglasses like perfectly. You get a good look? Yeah. Double sexy right there. I love those risers. Hey, settle down over there. We got shake and bake over here. Team Nickel, Team Nickelback. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Team Nickelback? Well, we've got the uh, we've got the heat on. It is a little chilly. That wind, a little chilly. Just a just a little gets you just a little bit. When you put the visor down, it's okay. I think we're good to go. We're gonna do a quick pit stop at the village. My camera's so dirty. in a second. Push 
on your slides. Uh, flip flop. Don't step in the dog shit. Uh -oh. I knew this was a bad idea. I'm in shorts. Mar Marshall's, Marshall's in flip flops. What the fuck? Bunch of degenerates. Marshall's in flip flops. I'm in shorts. Straighten your wheel out. Oh yeah, let's rock here. Turn Hold your back. wheel this way. Turn your wheel this way. There you go. Hey, ready? Gotta push that ass end over. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now turn the way. turn the wheel to the left. Now we'll push you up. There you go. Now yeah, go straight now. back. You're out of here. You're out of here. You're good. No, no, go this way, Anthony. There, there you go. go. Now just bust it straight back. <laughs> Careful, watch your hands. Keep your wheel okay, straight the whole forward. time, Anthony. stuck in the snow. Yeah, we had to try it, right? Oh, That's right. right. Oh. <laughs> got those non-stick shoes. <laughs> Both of you guys have flip-flops. <laughs> I've never been pushed out of a <laughs> snow bank from someone in flip-flops. That's a first. <laughs> Alright, let's head down. Let's head down. It's, I'm freezing standing up here. It's 8 degrees. It's no. fucking 8 to freezing. <laughs> And I'm home. Look how pretty it is. We had a gorgeous day for a drive, man. It was fun going up the mountain. I haven't been up there in months. Last time I was up there was in the 488 doing donuts in the snow. Oh, this thing's gonna need a bath. It's actually pretty dirty. Drove through some mud up the mountain. <laughs> well, we'll leave it right here for now. I'll come back out. We got a, we got a pressure washer just inside here. I'll go have dinner with the fam. See how they're doing. See how their day went. We'll come out and clean this thing up after. We have to vacuum this thing out. Look at all the dirt in here. So much dirt from the mountain. Oh yeah. I've got dirt on my door panel somehow. This thing is 175 kilometers away from hitting its first 1,000 kilometers. Not bad. And as the weather gets nicer, I'll be able to take it out more. But yeah, check this out. We actually got the Aperta dirty, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. <laughs> that crap all over the place on this thing. I'll pressure washer it after it. And I'm home. I'm trying to fix my hair so I look okay for dinner. Thanks for making dinner. You're welcome. Oh, this is that little bowl thing she makes me. I like it. There's some avocado in there. Shades of my avocado. There's some avocado in there. Rice, arugula, and chicken. Mm -hmm. Sriracha. What? There's black on your leg. Here. Oh my God, don't sit on my couch. Oh, I must have touched something when I was pushing. Anthony's car got stuck in the snow. Hey guys, I look really big from... Here. What are you doing? Are you gonna spin it? No, spin it.
Whoa, that was a cool trick watch, right? Wow, I'm sure they love that. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna eat dinner. Oh! What'd you have, What'd you have for dinner? Wait, let's take a picture. Oh, let's take a picture. Wanna take a picture here? Take a picture. Hold on, ready? Here, hold it. Presley brought me an after dinner treat. What do we have, buddy? Mini ice cream sandwiches. Mini ice cream sandwiches. Mmm, they're good. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, oh, I'm gonna take a bite of yours. Cheers, cheers. No, I know you're gonna steal mine. Hey? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> she got me. She got me. I'm gonna try to steal mine. Too. Just gotta tuck the cars away, and that's it. Another epic day ripping with the boys. Okay, done out here for the night. Looks pretty sick though with all the cars like that. <laughs> Looking good, okay. I'm out. Happy Sunday, you guys. I'm gonna do this a little bit different today. I'm gonna put a little more extra effort into it from production quality. And I'm gonna do some voiceover for you guys. In the biz, we call them voiceover. Otherwise, I'm gonna speak in the third person. Is that the same thing? It's not. Fuck, do I keep doing it? Yeah, okay, just keep going with it. Uh, I filmed some stuff today. I'm just gonna do a voiceover for you guys because it's kind of interesting. More interesting than my day. My day was just filled with kid stuff. Interesting for me, maybe not so much for you. Uh, I bought the, it's a long story why I bought this. It's a holder phone, makes no sense. But sometimes I can be creepy and be like, <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Okay, so my day started off pretty basic. Uh, my daughters and I went to the gas station, get that 94. I wanted to film it, but then I realized I had to take the cap off, so I held the nozzle under my arm, which apparently isn't the safest thing in the world because the guy on the speaker said that you can't do that. In any event, I started fueling up, and I realized that, you know what, I've never checked the oil in the Bentley myself. Is there a gauge, like a, a sensor in this car? Does it do it by itself? Uh, I better get the kid out to help me with it. Brooklyn, my oldest, she's uh, turning 11 this August, and she's never checked oil before, so as I'm doing this, I'm trying to negotiate with her. She she could give a shit. <laughs> she could care less about cars. I'm sure Ken would be more into it. Um, I feel in the price right now to show the cost of a fill-up. We do a lot of these videos sometimes for Facebook where it's like, you know, how much does it cost to fill A, B, or C car? And there's a lot of interest in it, and sometimes the results are really shocking. The Bentley is definitely not cheap. It has a 90 liter gas tank in it. And right now for a liter of fuel is $1.70. So so anyways, this goes on for a little bit. Um, this is around 10 o'clock this morning. I had a late start today, but um, that's what Sundays are for. Sundays are for sleeping in. But unfortunately, when you have kids, there really is no sleeping in. Ken leads up at 6.30 every day and she comes to my room. And in the past, she would just sit there and watch a show on my phone, on the TV. But now she wants to explain um, things that are really not important to me, but important to her, like where her dollhouse is, or do I like Smarties, um, what's my favorite of her baby, toy babies, which was my, which was my favorite. And then she wants a clear answer. And then if she doesn't like the answer, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. To my surprise, there's actually a oil, uh, dipstick in the Bentley, not just some sort of fancy sensor. So we checked it and it was good to go. Thanks, Bob. You can't spin me because I have clothes on. So it's been super hot out and the girls wanted to have a water fight. And I found a loophole. If I said I had clothes on, my inside clothes, then they couldn't spray me. So I used that for a good defense for most of the time. And Brooklyn follows the rules, which kind of broke it there. But she follows the rules and actually didn't get me at first. And then eventually realized I was up to my a scam there and they started to spray me. The question's always, you know, when you're playing competitive games with children, do you let them win? I vote no. I vote you teach them a real lesson and you show them the full force of your capabilities as a parent, monopoly, games, doesn't matter. I don't believe in the whole 15th place ribbon. So I taught him a lesson. <sighs> I win. So now we are at Parksville Beach. This is much, much later in the day, around six o'clock. I dropped Brooklyn off at her mom's house and then Kenley and I had another night together. So we went to the park. She loves the park. Um, you know, it's funny, you look at her hair right now and there's no elastic because I'll tell you one thing, for me anyways, as a dad, it's easy to love your kids. That comes very organically and naturally. But being a good dad as far as the uh, mechanics is a lot harder. So thinking of things like an elastic, sunscreen, clothes that fit, water, food, 
shelter. Um, jokes aside, I it was always something I miss, and today I missed the hair elastic. But she did not care. In fact, kids could care less. She's happier. Look at that hair in the wind. She's enjoying it. Then off to the beach, and she basically ran the entire beach. I couldn't keep up with her. She took her shoes, walked right in the water. In fact, right here she's running. She didn't stop running the entire time. So that was my cardio for the day. I am up 17 pounds right now. It's important. So I thank Henley for that. If you're watching this right now and you've got young daughters or older daughters, I think you can relate with the biggest fear as a dad is like the first time they bring a boy home or the first time they get their heart broken and you know how you respond to that. I like to picture this whole situation as like that scene from Bad Boys 2 with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Like one-to-one, -one, everything only, it won't be funny. It'll be really disturbing for that dude. And he'll walk away going like, what the fuck? Wow, get a hold of this guy. Just flexing his wealth, all that lumber. Pressure treated, oh yeah, must be nice. Just driving around showing off everybody how much money you have. If you get the joke, uh, right now, the building is basically everything, but right now lumber has basically 4 x price. Like a two by four, that was $2 a year ago, is now $8, so that's the joke. Carry on. Back home, and Kenley loves popcorn. In fact, she'll eat an entire bag to herself. So I thought, here's a treat. We'll get that Jiffy Pop that goes in the stove. But I screwed up, as you can tell in a second here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's burnt because that cardboard thing has to come off so it can expand. I screwed that up. But she also loves ice cream, and her favorite flavor is strawberry. So strawberry ice cream, it is indeed. Bam. And there it is, you guys. A day in the life of a parent. Being a parent is amazing. It's also a lot of work and very frustrating. If you're not a parent, it's really hard to understand. But the best way to describe it as like, when you have a child, you know that that person will be in your life for the rest of your life, regardless. That relationship will never, I mean, unless something really bad happened, it's rare, but it'll always be there. Whereas a wife, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever, uh, that might go away because you can get divorced, but you can't divorce your kids. So it's, it's cool knowing that like, that will always be there. And it's unconditional love. The kid can be the biggest dick to you that day, but you still love them so much. We're in my studio right now. I'm gonna film some stuff for Facebook tonight. I'm gonna try, I have this dry cough, it's allergies, trust me. So I'm having a hard time even getting through this clip. So I'm gonna do my best to film tonight. There's the ring light, it makes me look all Instagram model-ish. I actually have to move the studio because I find when I, when I green screen, I'm too close to the screen and I get issues, according to my editors. So I'm actually gonna relocate the studio to a spare bedroom upstairs, which is, I don't know why, I mean, just, just, Place has four bedrooms. Oh, pardon me, four bedrooms and a den. So it's basically five bedrooms, four bathrooms. It's way too big. The new place is much smaller. Same square footage, but less rooms. So the new place is two thousand square feet, same as this, but it only has three bedrooms. Um, as far as the studio goes, I'll have to make this mobile and set it up when I need it. Um, small sacrifice, but I don't use this room that often, and the green screen folds in together really quickly. So I can put this in my living room, bang out ten videos, put it away, and take me fifteen minutes. No big deal. But speaking of parenting for a second, this is the uh, aftermath of it. And I clean up every night, okay? It's everywhere. Just everywhere. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. Everywhere. Check this out. You can see right now I got it in off-road mode. So it's got a lift system. Now this car is lowered, really lowered it. But this is with the lift up. Normally there's no wheel gap, which is kind of a nice feature to have because it makes it much more soft, especially for all the speed bumps, like in Parcel Beach, it's all speed bumps. So I put it up like that, it's super soft, and just roll over it. All right, not a lot of content from you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my video today. Um, these definitely are very real. So when we're filming, it's the, the shenanigans, it's us bust people's balls and all that. And on the weekends, for me especially, it's just kids. In fact, when I, you know, when I have a super car here, I don't drive it. I've got two kids and there's only one seat and it's in the front. So my weekends pretty much look like this every single weekend, as well as if I have my kids, you know, if I'm home during the week, um, then I have like drop off and daycare and all those things and then I just work during the day. There is a lot behind the scenes in this company, like any company and just the boring stuff that no one cares about that I won't bore with the details. So there's always something, but weekends it's basically jam packed being a dad.